Andrew McGahan for Severe MMA here in the Three Arena. Bama 26 standing alongside the co-main event winner, Paul Redmond. Paul, 16 months, 14 months since you last stepped in the cage. And uh, talking among the media tonight, it's a common theme that when someone gets released from the UFC, they try to chase that win, and they usually lose when they come out of it. You, through different reasons, didn't get to fight, but I think it really paid that that time out of the cage really showed tonight and it paid off in, the, in your favour. To be honest, um, I actually thought it was a, not, I wouldn't say a poor performance, I just, I, I was really nervous in there tonight, I'll go now tonight, um, ring rust in there was a big fact, I wasn't throwing certain combinations that I have been working on the last couple of while, I wasn't hitting certain takedowns that I've been hitting a lot and I haven't, wasn't um, hitting submissions that I wasn't a lot, so um, a lot of ring rust in there tonight, you know. One thing though that I think did stand out and something you've been working on is your wrestling. There was times in that fight when it was maybe the decisive moment in a round or who's going to take this round and then Paul Redden lands a big takedown and shows good control on bottom. Was that maybe not as disappointing now in other areas because you got to show that side of your game as well? Yeah, I think um, I, I, I actually think I neglected that when I was in the UFC um, and I, I didn't do any wrestling when I was there and I was trying to strike with people, maybe chasing the 50 grand bonus or whatever like that, you know, they're trying to go out and put on a show. Um, so I'm just going back to the way I used to fight and I like my style of fighting. You know, that's what Andy told me to do. He says, look, do you one day, you're a good wrestler, good, good on the ground. This guy's a striker, so why strike with him, you know what I mean? So that was the game plan going in. So we stuck to it as best we could, you know. But like I said, the guys were calling for stuff in the corner and I probably wasn't hitting them as good as what I should have been, so... Do you think though by keeping the style going, keeping the say grinding style going, it opens up your your submission game on the yeah, bottom, yeah. which is maybe as threatening as your wrestling? Yeah, definitely 100%. You know, uh, I was I was trying to hit a Kamara in there. I actually seen his feet once or twice to, that I was going to pounce on, but like I said um, in another interview, it was if I had jumped in the foot, it was probably 70 30 in my favour, uh, away from my favour. So it's just odds I don't like if I'm going for a submission. So uh, I just I didn't jump on it, you know. Do you think that's something that you've matured as, as a fighter over the last couple of years that maybe Paul Redmond's highlight reel of submission of toe holds did come from those positions where maybe you weren't in favour of getting the submission but you got it at the time and it looked maybe better than it was? Yeah, um, yeah. Uh, uh, on some of those uh, submissions when, when you come out of the fight Andy will give you a little bit of criticism and stuff like that. Um, so on maybe some of the toe holds I've hit before or foot locks and stuff like that I actually leave my feet out where they shouldn't be but I hit them in anyway, so um, it, it's probably 50-50 that I haven't got footlocked myself. Um, so yeah, maybe the maturity is coming through that I didn't jump on anything crazy tonight and I was just trying to play it safe a little bit, but I knew um, if I gave him an inch, he would take a mile, so I couldn't give him that inch in there. Um, and like I said, uh, it, I think it was the Paul Dolby during the week, he asked me, what way did you see the fight going? I says, to be honest, I, says, I actually hope it goes three rounds. Because you spend that much time away from the cage or away from being in there. If you go out with, say, a flash knockout or a flash submission or whatever, um, you, that's a full camp wasting on two minutes or a minute or whatever it is. So I'm not to get 15 minutes in there, so I'm not to shaking out the, the cobwebs now, you know. So I think um, my, perform my next performance on whatever show it is um, with Barmy, I think it'd be a hell of a lot better than that. Speaking of cobwebs and speaking of the camp, you're probably in the best shape that I've ever seen you, and that's going back even from amateur into pro. <coughs> You've never been as defined, as toned. Was it sort of a, this is do or die, the UFC's happened, it's been, and if I want to get back there, I need to really buck myself up and change things around. It wasn't that I never um, sort of didn't put the work in. I've always put the work in. I mean, my nutrition was probably wouldn't, wouldn't have been the greatest. Even when I was making seven, you know, I'd cut the last, say, 10 kilos on three weeks and and stuff like that. This one, I've been eating clean since like January, and... Kevin Hendricks down at uh, Strength and Performance Institute, he's been working with us the last year um, and we've, we've just stuck to what he said, Luke Liu, um, and in the programme with, with Kev and um, what Andy puts together for us with the MMA and Jiu-Jitsu you know, and, and the nutrition, I think the fruits of my labour are sort of, everyone's saying it, you know. I understand there's a cake run going on tomorrow in Dublin, yourself and Dave Fogarty. Yeah, going, going to, uh, I think it's Boston sponsor, uh, Boston uh, Donuts in Stephen Green, we're going to take them all out. <laughs> <laughs> close early tomorrow <laughs> excellent Paul congratulations see yeah. you soon you have a lot of sponsors you want to thank yeah I just want to thank uh, just the main man Andy Ryan you know um, oh, I haven't well, I actually haven't really said this before but I probably would have jacked after the UFC if I wasn't with him you know um, just because like I say you hit that sort of uh, the, the highs of the, the sport then you get a little knock for it but I probably would have quit if I wasn't with him you know he kept pushing me and pushing me um, and he just he he, he does more than, for me than me, my own dad does, you know, I can't thank him enough. Um, and like I said, with Kevin Hendricks, uh, Foyt Star, all those guys, absolute nutrition, you know, can't thank anybody. And Patrick Wicks there, he'll kill me if I don't thank him as well. So, uh, yeah. Excellent. Thank you very much. See you Cheers. soon.